Hey, what's going on, guys? It's uh, catch- it's our podcast, Ketchup and Mustard. I'm Matt. I am Charlie. Yes, we are people and not um, condiments. Condiments. That is the word. So, um, what do you want to talk about today, Charlie? Hmm? I don't have a topic. <laughs> what? You came unprepared? I have a topic in mind. <laughs> do you have a topic in mind? I mean, I do. Yeah, but I was just wondering if you wanted to, if you had. Zilch. Oh. Nada. Well, you're good at this, aren't yeah. you? Um, well, my topic is kind of out there. It's like, what would chairs look like if we had tails? <laughs> is that something you've just thought of? Or is this something you've been thinking about? No, I've been thinking about this for, for a hot second. I, I still don't know. I'm undecided. But, like, because, like, a tail, it, it's part of you. So, mm-hmm. like, it's just, it would be just above your butt, wouldn't it? Oh, if we had tails. If, if, if we I had tails. I thought you meant if the chairs no, had tails. No, not ch- No, <laughs> no, if we, what would a chair look like if it had a tail? No, <laughs> yeah. if we had a tail. That's, that's, that's what I thought the, oh the topic God. you were proposing was. No. Was, <laughs> what, we're just thinking of animals as chairs, are chairs then animals? Is it then okay to sit on them? <laughs> My face palm is so hard right now. <laughs> Did I not word that right? <laughs> I don't know. I just... <laughs> I thought, yeah, but what, what I chairs you... look like if we had tails? I thought you said if they had tails. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I mean, I might have done, but we can listen to it back. But yeah. <laughs> would they just all be stools? See, I don't know. Because yeah, they, they, I like yeah. sitting on a sofa. <laughs> would there be a hole? <laughs> That's, that, was, that was my first thought. But then you'd have to aim your tail to get in the hole whilst you sit down. Mm. And then where would your tail go? Like, it would just be, like... No. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> As human beings, I feel like that is almost... Too erotic? Too erotic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then you've got to think about how animals sit. Because animals sit with, like, their back forward. Hmm. So then with the... Yeah, but so do humans. Like... Over the years, we've sort of we've begun to slouch, so it wouldn't make that much of a difference. No, I'm just saying that like, the back of the chair would be angled forward. Oh uh, yeah. Oh right, I see. I see where you're going. So yeah. you'd like sit in this V, is mm. it? And you're like sitting down in that V. Yeah. That V shape. Like a computer chair would be fine. Like you know, like the yeah, ones. Well, that one would be fine as well. Like, uh, like, like yeah, well, like, there's one I'm pointing at currently that has. Um, <laughs> It's got like the bar. It's the, got like, it's yeah. like a kitchen chair. It's yeah. got like bars. Yeah, at the back. So it's then the tail would fit through the back. Yeah. One of the slots. Yeah. So would yeah. they just look normal? Potentially? Potentially. I think it depends on the rest of how humans would look. Yeah. Is it just the tail? Because mm. I was listening to um, uh, Ear Biscuits. Yeah. And Rat was saying like, no, no, no. Link, Link was saying he he wanted a hand. If if like the topic was if you had a hand, mm. an extra hand, where would you have it? Oh, okay. Um, and Link said he'd have it on a tail. I thought that was a really good idea. And then I thought, but wait, how would chairs look <laughs> if you had a tail? I'm now trying to decide where I'd have an extra hand. <laughs> well, where would you have an extra hand? I don't know. Because. I would have it on a tail. <laughs> Maybe just coming out my chest. Or that. I would either have it like on the end of a tail, mm. like Link would. Mm. I agree with him there. That was a good, a good decision. Yeah. But if I had a very bushy beard, I'd have it under the bushy beard, <laughs> so I could punch people <laughs> with my extra chin hand. And I could also catch food I drop. I feel like that's a bonus. Not that I drop that much food, but just in case. And it would be a lot easier to, like, if you dribble as well. Like, uh, you, you'd rarely, you'd rarely, like... It's just cupping the bottom of your chin. Yeah, yeah you, you'd... You could do that. It would be like this. You could do that if it came up from your chest, because you think there's an arm... Because you're thinking if you have an extra hand, I'm assuming there's an extra arm. Or is it just an extra hand? I don't. I don't. There's an arm and a hand coming out from your chi- uh, chest, but it could also do that. But then it would also be down here. True. And be like a. I was. I was thinking like just a hand, really. 
But because then Lynx one doesn't really work because yeah, yeah but he's got a really tail. Have, we don't really have tails. Yeah, yeah but he had, he just added, added the tail. tail. <laughs> because if you think about it, if you had it like under your chin, you'd rarely ruin your clothes with um. I don't know, it's spaghetti bolognese or something. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, you'd never get past the sauce on your, on your clothes. Mm. That's been a problem for me the last few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how I do it, but I always get it on my trousers. I always get it on, time. like, the pocket of my hoodie. Or if I'm wearing a white top. Or, like, just that, like, stomach area of my, my top. Yeah. Because I'm normally sat on my computer chair. I'll be holding the bowl and like just that little bit like one isn't always one drop mm. and it's like every time I have pasta yeah <laughs> oh dear <laughs> uh, are you now googling podcast topics maybe <laughs> <laughs> because I've tried that and they all say talk about stuff you like talk about the people you love or something like that so you know <clears throat> Google can't isn't always very helpful. It's just not loading currently. In this break, I'd like to talk to you about who we're sponsored by. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. We're sponsored by Heinz. <laughs> <to work it>. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty impressive, actually, wouldn't it? <laughs> So how did we decide what the chairs would look like? They they would just be normal with sort of like a, a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a, a tail sized hole. Also, another thing about tails, <laughs> if we had tails, yeah. would they would there be an like would they be thicker? Like would some people have thicker tails than other people? Like is it muscular? Like you know you like how you work out you're you you're all always you're also a naturally bigger person than, than I am. Mm-hmm. Would your tail then be bigger than mine? <laughs> I don't know. This is sounding, this is borderline like penile here, but. I think it depends on if I'm like, you know, like curling with my tail. <laughs> I'm not sure if there would be a point to that because your tail doesn't have biceps. <laughs> if it's all muscle. Yeah. And you can build a muscle. Yeah, but you don't, you don't curl with your penis. <laughs> Or do you? I don't know what you're doing in your no. spare time. <laughs> Could I, if I had a tail, mm. sit on the tail? What, like, like a genie? Like how a genie sit? You know how a genie sits? No, I'm just, I'm just imagining, like, you know, like you can yeah. get those, like you can get those um, portable stools that people take to like sports games and stuff. Oh yeah. Could I just lean back and like go into a seated position with the tail? The tail would just prop me up. I, I would say you could lean with it. Yeah. Then I don't need a chair. True. <laughs> mm, maybe. Then chairs would become obsolete. Because <laughs> I am my own chair. Mm. You no, think. because that's more of a... You still stood up. You gotta think. Free po- well, I'm a, I'm a tripod, technically. <laughs> I tell you, though. Camera work could be a lot easier <laughs> with tail. I'm a tail. Ta- you would li- literally be a tripod. Yeah. You'd be a lot steadier with the tail, I would say. Yeah. Mm. And three points of contact, didn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> but like you, if you if you could get real good, like real accurate with your tail, you could let your tail hold the camera and run. But like it would be like a stabilizer. Depends on how depends how long your tail was. <laughs> I was gonna say. I was thinking like the equivalent if we had monkey tails. Okay, because then you could like bring it up and then two hands, and then the tail also holds it. Just like comes free legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good idea. idea. Another free. Mm. Another three. <laughs> another three. <laughs> yeah, you have another two. You have four tails. Yep. <laughs> We've talked a lot about tails for nine minutes. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Okay then. If you could, um, if you could exchange a body part <laughs> okay. for a body part that an animal has mm-hmm. or a feature that an animal has mm. what would you change what would you exchange it's actually okay. a good question that we could talk about before. yeah um, <laughs> hmm. like you you have to yeah, no, you, you I, have to swap your yeah no 
whatever you gonna stop. <laughs> Currently, I'm like thinking about legs. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, bit of leg. <laughs> <laughs> but also, first thing that came to my mind was a kangaroo pouch. A pouch? <laughs> yeah. Is that so you keep your food in it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a general pouch. <laughs> so is to keep so your food in it. Extra <laughs> pocket. It's an extra pocket. It's a built-in pocket. That's the first thing that came to my mind. Then I went on to, in my mind, I went to kangaroo legs. Yeah. Because very fast, and mm-hmm. I could also jump high. Mm-hmm. Very powerful. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And then, I all went, then from there, I went to ostrich legs. <laughs> yeah. I'd be very tall. <laughs> That's that's the main I'd, thing. I'd be you. very you, fast. You just want to be tall and fast. I'd be fast, very fast. I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like Olympic sprinter, fast, faster than that, uh-huh. even. And they can run for that like constantly. They can. They got stamina. Yeah. They can go some. I'd be like mm. a slower flash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> but just the legs. Yeah. Like it cuts off at like. So you've still got... Mid, mid-thigh. Right, okay. <laughs> so you've still got important parts, basically. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And it's just ostrich. It's a bit like a... Um, a satyr? Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Right. I don't know what else. Hmm. <clears throat> See, I thought... Those were all the things that came to mind. Pouch, kangaroo legs, ostrich legs. So you, you've thought in the terms of, like... Like agility and speed and stuff yeah. and I immediately sort of thought about like a dog's nose <laughs> like in exchange for mine just because of how powerful they are and how like yeah you, you know the only problem is with that you smell everything yeah <laughs> yes yeah, see, this is why I'm like mm, maybe maybe not because the people in our house they, they smell like we smell them anyway <laughs> but if I had a dog's nose yeah you think um you think how you react to um, the air freshener spray and how powerful? Oh yeah! It is. Imagine how I'd smell how it. I'd smell it from the can, like yeah. that kind of thing, wouldn't it? Hmm. So I don't know. I I was I was um. I already have quite a long neck. <laughs> so like having a giraffe neck isn't really that much of a it's not really useful. Story. No, it's not. I'm, that's the thing I'm thinking. I'm thinking about what's going to be what's the most, useful. Yeah. What's the most useful thing? Mm. I know what I'd do. Shoulder blades. Get rid of them. I'd have wings. Big old eagle wings. I think that would be the most practical thing that I would go for. I feel, yeah, but I feel like if we're swapping it, we're like doing it like it's the same size. <laughs> No, no, no! It's it's proportional <laughs> because you can change the size of it. That wasn't a rule. I was because in my mind I'm thinking that they're little eagle wings on your shoulders. No, no, because no, the no. kangaroo and ostrich legs, it would fit my body. <laughs> yeah, but also I'm thinking proportionally. Like you know, I would I'd scale it up. I'd for, for if you could scale it up then because because you did say like swapping the body part. So I'm like thinking it's the same amount that you're swapping it for. Yeah, but that limits us. I'm like trying to not limit us totally. Then, then you can say it's your arms that you swap for the wings. Yeah, but I want to keep my arms. I want to just be Angel for my next man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a mutation more than swapping something, really, isn't it? Yeah. I think you. I would. I think you got to go like think of it in terms of limb or something. Term, yeah, a so wing is a limb. Like, yeah, but like swapping it for a limb. And I, I did say body part. So shoulder blade is a body part. Because a wing, work a, a wing would come with a shoulder blade. <laughs> so I'm just swapping a shoulder blade for a shoulder blade. Yeah. <laughs> However, now I'm imagining the opposite of this: just a wing with sh- uh, a, a, an eagle with shoulder blades. <laughs> <laughs> and then also for um, eagle eyes. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I could just, just like see really far. Yeah. And really clearly. <laughs> We're both staring weirdly now. <laughs> it's just like uh, Legolas, <coughs> Legolas, basically, from Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Mm. What do you see with your eagle eyes? Your elf eyes? Um, Maybe an owl neck. 
How would it be useful though? Some humans can do that already. You know, yeah, I know, that's weird. Have you seen Lily Reinhardt can do that? She can put like her chin over her shoulder. No, I did see, I did however see a video of a guy holding another guy's head and then the, the guy he was holding just turns and his <laughs> head was like fully backwards. <laughs> and I was like, nope, that's well, enough was, internet for me today. There was a, a f- I think, I can't remember who it was, but it was basically they were conducting an interview with the Riverdale cast and they asked them like for their special skills. Hmm. And <clears throat> Cole Sprouse did this, like, just this monkey walk. Right. <laughs> it wasn't really a skill. Was, I think it was party tricks as well. Right. And he just did, like, this, this monkey walk where he put his hands above his head. So oh, right. It was just, like, the squatted position walking around. Yeah, yeah. It was very funny. <laughs> um, and then Lily Reinhardt, she was just like, I can turn my head, like, nearly all the way around. And then just, like, turned. And then her chin was, like, rested over her shoulder. And, <clears> like... <throat> and it was like, whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I guess that's just kind of double jointed this. So, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think I feel like that one because, like, if somebody taps on the shoulder, you don't have to turn around. Just whoop, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> and if you smell something real good, just oh, also, also if um, you ever hear someone whisper something underneath their breath, you just turn your head around slowly, <laughs> like, the fuck you just really did slowly. You, just... What did you just say? <laughs> but you have to have like real big eyes when you do it as well, right? <laughs> yeah, but you just. The, See, there are some practical uses for it. The most effect- effective <laughs> way to give them the evils. Mm. What about? I th- I thought bat ears. I was gonna say echolocation. The bat ear that, that bat ears already come with that because it's part of the screen. But the I kind of would. I just thought good hearing. I was just thinking mm. animals were good hearing. Hmm. I've already got pretty good hearing anyway. Yeah, no, but like. You don't have a bat's hearing, do you? No, no. You can't fucking see things with your hearing. No. And you're basically the devil. <laughs> I can locate things with my hearing, but I can't, like, mm. see them, obviously. <laughs> maybe I can, maybe I'm blind. Mm. <clears throat> I'll never know. Could I, like... Seeing as you switched shoulder blades for wings, okay, could I switch part of my neck for a gill, but the other part is normal? What, so you just have one gill? Yeah, just so I can breathe in doors. <laughs> Why don't you just have gills? Because take out your the, because then I won't be able the, to breathe in air. No, take <laughs> out take out the glands that are here. Oh, okay. Because they're useless. Yeah, and then put gills in. Voila. You can breathe underwater. Mm. That would actually be quite helpful. Yeah. See, I can't see underwater. <laughs> so that wouldn't be helpful to me. Can you not open your eyes when you're No, nah, I don't like it. Oh, okay. It makes me feel weird. <laughs> <laughs> and chlorine doesn't go in my eyes. <laughs> I like I like get out the pool and I look like how um the missing link does when they have the party in Monsters <laughs> vs. Aliens. So like, ah my eyes! <laughs> Or just like real high. <laughs> I'm just like. I was thinking that, or either like um, flipper feet. See that? That was actually my first thought, <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, that look weird. I'd need big shoes." <laughs> I mean, you can just be like, "I can swim real good. I'm an Olympic swimmer." Hmm. At least if you had flipper feet, you wouldn't need shoes either. Really? Because they're I pretty. Change my legs for like if we're sizing up again. Mm-hmm. I can change them for a frog's legs. Mm, I disagree. Slimy. Really good jumper. Much better swimmer. Real slimy. <laughs> Are they slimy though? Yeah, they're slimy, man. You gotta think. You gotta yeah, but think snakes aren't slimy, and people think they're slimy, but snakes aren't slimy. Yeah, but frogs. Have you ever held a frog? Yeah. Frogs are slimy. Not all of them are. Frogs are slimy. Not man. all frogs are slimy. Right. You get <laughs> right. If you have frog's legs and then you have a bath, you will be <laughs> slimy for a week. You would then not be able to have a bath to let your legs dry. <laughs> they 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 like have this mucusy feel to them. I was also trying to think of like um, an animal that had like an armored hide. Armadillo. Or like a rhino. Or a rhino. Rhino just has has thick skin though. Yeah, but like it, it's pretty fucking tough. It's pretty tough. Mm. Animals that have like tough skin. Armadillo yeah. or something. Also, and just like change your skin for that. Yeah. <laughs> or a horn. <laughs> no practical use whatsoever. <laughs> but 
Just to look cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have a horn. <laughs> it's just the horn. It's for ornamental use. <laughs> <laughs> for stabbing people that I disagree with. <laughs> It'd look terrifying if you ran at somebody, wouldn't you? Like, <laughs> I was imagining like, like actually, the like Rhino from Spider Man, like the two, so yeah, it's the one, and then the little, and then one. the yeah, the <laughs> actual like how rhinos, yeah, are, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think the ostrich. I think the ostrich legs and the uh, or the kangaroo legs are the most practical. I'm gonna stick with wings, wings or eyes. I would say to the eagle. Because the neck thing was cool. Uh, How I mean, dare you? <clears throat> the neck thing, the owl thing, that was cool. But their eyes, actually, they could see in the dark as well. It was really far. Mm. So maybe owl eyes instead of people. If you had the bat ears, then you could also see in the dark, technically. Mm. You could hear, everything, hear the echo of everything. Yeah. Do I need the owl, <clears throat> Do I need to have like a bat screech to be able to see things? Yeah, because they screech and then they hear their screech back, don't mm. they? It's kind of like dolphins. Mm. Okay, so I, sw- I switch. Uh, well, I could make a screech anyway. You wouldn't have that. Yeah, but you like... wouldn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're sat in a room <laughs> screeching at yourself. Yeah, but I can still see normally. Cause and bats, also, there's a cause down... bats, aren't, bats aren't blind. There's a there's yeah. misconception. Um, yeah, but they're, they're, I wasn't swapping they, my eyes anyway. I was just swapping the ears. Mm. So it just meant that when I'm in the dark, I can screech and see things. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, if you had the <laughs> the vision of a bat as well, like you wouldn't be able to see screens. I didn't say a vision, though. I just said no. ears. Yeah. Okay. A oh, bat. So I'll have wings and you have a screech ability. <laughs> you can hear something. No, if you have having wings, I'll probably go for the ostrich legs. Mm. Or the kangaroo legs. <clears throat> you should be able to move at like 30 miles an hour. Oh. How fast can ostriches run? I don't know. I'm going to look that up a second. Okay. So you'll be able to run real fast, and I'll be able to fly mm-hmm. real fast, because like the Flash and Hawkman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we basically took where what we could <clears throat> switch of animals and um, gave ourselves super hit powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't see an issue with that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did think Cheetah to start off with, but then I thought. A cheetah's legs wouldn't really work on my body. <clears throat> nah. You'd need all four as well. 43 miles per hour. Fair enough. And on longer distances, um, they can maintain a speed of 31 miles per hour. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well. There you go. <laughs> I'd be a fast boy. You would, yeah, you wouldn't need a car, that's for sure. <laughs> You'd just be able to... Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> right at the speed. Charlie, are you all right? <laughs> yeah, but they can maintain it, though. Yeah, I know, but if you're like... You know what I mean. You're just still a human body with human yeah. lungs. <laughs> I don't know. I think you'd have to wear some sort of mask. <laughs> I was thinking um, about how I'd wear clothes with ostrich lace, because obviously they go the other way. Mm, they like, kind of go like the that. The knees go the other way. Yeah. And look a bit like, you know, um... I'm very familiar with them, yes. A new game that just came out. Not Apex, the other one. The big suits. Oh, um... See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Don't you? I'm very familiar with them. Um... It begins with an A. I know that. Anthem. Anthem. Yeah. They The legs on the bottom of the suits look like ostrich legs. Yeah. They do. Like the other way. Yeah. Mm. That's it. Yeah. You're happy with that now? Now mm. you got real... Now you're real fast. Yeah, okay. real fast. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll fly next to you. <laughs> right, <I'll> just... <laughs> you know, as you do. What is your favourite way to waste time? That's a very personal question, Charlie. <laughs> um, to waste time. Yeah. My favorite sleep. I'd say. Maybe. Um, 
Or maybe video games. One of those two things. Just because it's a mindless activity, isn't it? Mm. Especially sleeping, because you're literally not yeah. doing anything. Yeah, it's literally just <clears throat> a nothing. Yeah. Although, saying that, I do like scrolling through Amazon <laughs> just to see if there's anything there that, like, you know, I might, might be like, oh, I can get that. And I do, I do, <laughs> I do that with um, Mesos and stuff quite a lot. I'm just like sc- yeah, right. scrolling through, and I'm like, that's nice. I can't afford that. Yeah, yeah. You seen that post, um, that Facebook post, which is, uh, I see it, I like it, I want it. Oh yeah. I look at the price tag, I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ariana's new song in it. <laughs> that yeah, is what I, I see it. From. I like it. I want it. I got it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Favorite way to waste time. See, is is that like the same as procrastinating? I, f- I don't know. It's not, yes. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, because wasting time, I guess, I guess, I guess it is. Because sometimes I, a big waste of time is just me sitting there deciding what I'm going to uh, watch or do. Hmm. I'm like scrolling through Netflix, I'm scrolling on YouTube, looking at like videos and stuff, and yeah. just cannot decide <clears throat> what I want to do with that time. And I'm just that amount, and that goes it go on for like 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. And you just like, do, do you ever, do? do you ever like think, ah, oh, I'll turn the Xbox on and go on, on a game? And you get on the Xbox, and you're like, you know what, I can't be bothered. And then you like just don't play a game. Yeah. Do you do that? Yeah. I do that way too often. I'm like, oh yeah, I could go on the Xbox. So I turn it on, mm. and then I get on there. I'm like, you know what? I don't actually fancy playing anything. It's mm-hmm. just effort. And then I end up just going for a YouTube and end up like last night, for example. I turned my Xbox off. I got into bed and watched 45 minutes worth of vines. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear you laugh at one point, like last night when I was trying to fall asleep. And I just yep. heard like some chuckling from your room. <laughs> that was just pretty fucking... Oh, uh, it got me. I'll have to show you it later if I can find it. It was a stupid ass video, but it tickled me. Ah, uh, yeah. Vines get me. I don't know why. <clears throat> yeah. What is something now that is popular now that annoys you? Hmm. You see, this is quite a good question because a lot, a lot of things annoy me. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of things annoy me. My voice went weird then. But I don't really... Hmm. I don't know. Because I don't tend to follow things that annoy me, if that makes sense. So they yeah. don't often stay in my memory for that long um have you hmm. seen what's uh, what was called the uh, the newest fashion trend of 2019 no which is large items of clothing oh why everyone buys large stuff not that no so basically right. it's co- it's come from when people have like now they c- it's going back we you know we're going back into that like 90s fashion mm-hmm. where it's like baggy t-shirts going away from skinnier jeans and stuff or it's dying to yeah um so now they're like uh, there are t-shirts that you know like someone wears like a, a uh, buys a shirt it's medium but it's actually like a large fit and stuff mm-hmm. now it's like they're extra 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 large <laughs> why um like there's one picture of a guy who's wearing a baggy t-shirt and he's probably about a third of the t-shirts width jesus christ <laughs> and there's another one of um a set of <clears throat> jeans hmm. which are double the length of the person and then they fold them back up why <laughs> same with jean jackets and they fold them back up <laughs> See, no i don't no i don't like that is that what annoys you? Is it? It's just a, it was just a thing that came up the other day that was like apparently a popular trend that's going mm. on. It's in a, a, like a big Instagram trend right now. There's also uh, big backpacks. It's like a backpack that you can fit inside of. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> See that I would get one just for a laugh, you know, like like a sketch or a bit. Yeah. But I wouldn't use it. Although it would be quite helpful. I can see it. I can see the practicality of a backpack being huge. Yeah. But also. But I mean, but not like big clothes. Yeah. 
The only good thing about that is big it's, it's kind of going back to like the Jenko jeans. Yeah. Where it's like they'd cover your feet, mm. that sort of jeans. Mm. But like length extreme now. Yeah. No, I don't like that. It's just one thing. That's I don't, popular. I don't like that. No. Um, I'm, <clears throat> I'm just trying to think about things that do annoy me. Like songs or... It can um, be a trend. It can a trend, be... yeah. Uh, I don't like how... Uh, hmm. I don't know how to word this. Like, how YouTubers now seem to only put out hate content, that annoys me, if you know what I mean. So, like, for example, the Logan Paul and KSI thing, it's all about them hating each other. Uh, and that has then sparked ever like a whole load more of like YouTubers I think using I, I, diss I, tracks I, and all that shit. And it, oh, yeah. it just puts like a negative vibe behind it. I don't think I follow it. enough YouTubers that do that sort of <coughs> stuff to like mm, for it, it to be in your bubble. Yeah, yeah, I don't follow enough YouTubers like like the things with um PewDiePie versus T series. Oh yeah. I'm not I don't care no. whatsoever. So no. I'm not like I mean, I know it's I know it's a thing, which is like that's fair enough. But like it being in in my bubble because yeah. it's in everyone else's bubble, like who people I follow. Yeah, um, <clears throat> that annoys me. Like, why can't people just get along? And also, I know one one that annoys me. I, I figured it out in my head. Okay. Flat earthers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I hate them. <laughs> it's not. It's not okay. Everything proves proves it wrong. There's literally countless things that have proven it wrong. It's a trend as well. Yeah. I feel like people are doing it, f- like for the meme. It's for the yeah. It's like for the vine, but you it's know? for the meme now. Yeah. There's there's a Netflix documentary about it. Is there? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna, but I'm preparing myself. Because <laughs> you, you're not, you're not gonna annoying. want to watch it. Yeah, you're not gonna yeah. want to watch it. Yeah. But I, I have like I feel like I have to. Raja has a friend in a group chat who is a flat earther, and he's been added to this group chat. And like he was like, "Oh yeah, what are questions that I can say to to her that will sort of um, almost make her realize that yeah. the earth isn't flat?" Yeah. And everything that I came up with, like pictures from space, um, I don't know, orbit. Anything like that? Why are other planets um, spherical and not flat? Yeah, they've got a reason for it, and I'm like, how can I battle this? I can't like. I was coming up with like proper science wind. Apparently, they've got a thing for that as well. I'm like, (sighs) so just like all of their theories contradict each other as well. Yeah, and as a, I'm not a scientist, but as somebody who follows some science. And I'm reading Stephen Hawking's book. Yeah, um, it's like an insult. It's like it's like ugh. ugh. Yeah, it is an insult. It actually is. Like, ugh, I hate that. That annoys me. Like mm. that. That deeply annoys me. <laughs> different seeing different stars in the night. Night. Yeah. And also, I think is it them that also moon? is it them that also believes that the Earth is like. 2,000 years old, or is that religion? That's more religion. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> that annoys me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that's wrong with the world annoys me. <laughs> One other thing that just came into my head as well. What's that? It's the thing I mentioned the other day. Well, actually, I mentioned is it my, I mentioned it yesterday. I don't, can't remember. People that curl. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> people, when people, this is one that is, it's not a trend it's nothing like that it's just something that annoys me that you know I, what really grinds my gears you know what really grinds my gears <laughs> is when I'm in the gym and I see a person and they pick up a weight and as they walk back to do whatever exercise they're planning on doing hmm. they're curling the weight on the journey <laughs> it was yesterday it, it was, was yesterday. yesterday okay I've been having this thought in my head for a long time anyway <laughs> But it's only now that I've decided to speak it out to the world. <laughs> it's just, you're doing nothing for f- for yourself by curling it on the weight. If you're testing the weight 
to see if you can lift it well enough to do the exercise, do it at the rack or do it when you're at your bench. If you're doing it in motion, you're not doing anything that is similar or remotely similar to an exercise. And it's not it's not like you're getting extra reps in. This is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be a very popular topic in your um YouTube videos, I, I reckon. Watch your fitness videos. Stop <laughs> curling while you're walking. It's doing you no good. Yeah. You're be- you're doing yourself a bad. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's the same as I don't <clears throat> it's another thing I always think about in the gym am I gonna seem like a dick if I see someone doing something wrong mm. and I go to tell them that they're doing it wrong see I'm conflicted on that because if they're doing it wrong they're gonna hurt themselves you know yeah, but then also, also I'm not the biggest guy in the world no but you know what you're doing I, f- I feel like i know what i'm doing but i don't know, know if like if someone looks at me they think okay he knows what he's doing like from a distance i would say maybe not <laughs> yeah but as you get closer to somebody you're quite big like, you're, you're wide yeah it's just i don't i don't want to like because i've had people come up to me and say like you're doing it wrong doing something that i'm doing when i know i'm doing something right yeah but then maybe they think they're doing it right yeah it's just like people. Went, uh, I'm just friends. There's, there's, there's these people that I keep. I keep seeing them do it. They're on like the the calf raise. Yeah, um, yeah, they, yeah. Or the calf extension. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they do it like really quickly. Mm. And, and they're just, just not. And they're not holding the exercise for any yeah. amount of time. And they're just like repping it out. They're, they're almost like, bouncing. They're, they're basically bouncing yeah. on the calf, and they're uh, sometimes they're bending their knees as well. Mm. And I'm, I keep looking at them like, should I go over and mention it? Should I just say, if you do it like this, you'll do it better? If you keep doing it like this, you're going to have yeah. weirdly formed calves. <laughs> like, that was it. Yeah. It's just things like that. I don't know whether I'm allowed mm. to mention it. I mean... <clears throat> I know I'm allowed to. I can say whatever yeah, I want. Yeah, you can, you can go over and say. Is whether <laughs> but I, just, not... I, just want, I don't want them to think I'm just being a dick. Yeah. I don't know. If you, I... if, you, if you don't go over there being a dick... Yeah. If you go over there like... Do you mind if I tell like? Do you mind if I show you how to do this a bit better? Yeah. Rather than you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Let me show you how to do it right. Yeah. Then maybe people won't think you're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do I don't do that at the moment because I'm no. just I don't want like people to think I'm a dick at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really there to like. Do it. I'm not a personal trainer or anything. No. So I don't. I'm not. I'm not qualified. But no. But like again, that comes back to whether or not you're a decent person and whether or not. You want to let somebody else hurt themselves at the gym. Yeah. Like, if somebody is doing something blatantly wrong, I would say go over and be like, yeah, you're going to hurt yourself. I haven't seen someone that I think yet, like... <laughs> the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what on earth? It was, it was nearly the guy, you know, the guy that was shoulder pressing and he was doing it as if he was like... <laughs> Which one? Which one? That one we saw, and he was doing it like hyper fast. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. too much pre-workout guy. Yeah, yeah him. Yeah, <laughs> literally looked like he was like off his head on pre-workout. Mm-hmm. That was like the closest. But like the other ones, they're, they're not like they're not gonna hurt. Like the ones who are doing it really quick, they're using their knees. So there's no yeah. real way that they're gonna hurt themselves on it. Mm-hmm. No, I can see but like most... as because you've been doing it for a few years like you've obviously built up some knowledge and you know what works for you i feel like you know you're not qualified you don't have a certificate but you're qualified in knowledge yeah so yes i feel like you can do that but you have to approach it in the right way yeah so if you're not a dick you won't seem like a dick (laughs) yeah I think that's all the things that annoy me. I don't know. It's not all the things that annoy me. There are a lot of little things that annoy me. But like, I'm trying. I was trying. I'm trying to think in like grand scheme. What's popular that annoys me? Something that. Oh, hmm. I don't know if it annoys me, but I don't know if I like it. Mm. Like, I know I own Crash Bandicoot and Spyro mm. as like the remakes, but I don't know if I like gaming companies remaking or remastering games especially games that have come out in the past 12 years modern warfare modern warfare 2 that kind Mm. of thing 
I think it, that's because they like the fans say they <laughs> want it. Yeah. But like, I'd like to see. It's the same. It's the same more as more original. It's content. the same as people rebooting um, films, though, isn't it? It's like yeah. the, the Mummy got rebooted, mm. and that wasn't that wasn't made that long ago. That was a two thousand movie. Yeah. And even then, the reboot wasn't that good either. No. So, like, <laughs> it's just, it's just what's happening. It's yeah, just, everyone was. People, people are. It's actually, a nostalgia trip, isn't it? People are thinking that um, Rockstar are gonna remaster Red Dead, the first, the first one. one. Yeah, hmm. it, which kind of makes sense. See that I yeah that I can see making sense, and I would go back and play it mm. because I haven't actually played the first one yet. But games like because the because gra- that's like earlier than a lot of games. It's like that's not long after the Xbox 360 came out. Like okay. beginning of. Oh, check, keep keep talking. Yeah. Fact check. But with with like, I'm not actually sure when Modern Warfare Two came out. But yeah, I get why people want that game to be remastered. But I don't know. I don't know if I like that idea. I don't know why. It's just I just want gaming companies to sort of take a step back and almost be, hey, look, instead of this game that you've already played. How about you play this brand new game, which might be equally better? So Red Dead Redemption came out in 2010. 2010. Um, and what was the other one? Modern Warfare, t- Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. Uh, it came out in 2009. Oh, okay. So it is it actually before. older than Red Dead Redemption. That's surprising, because Red Dead's graphics are a bit worse than Modern Warfare 2. Or how I remember them, I haven't played. You uh, you definitely, def- you need to what you need to like play both like yeah. in their original graphics state. Yeah. I think, and also you got to think the first person shooter. They do like because you're, it's a closer view. They do like the closer mm. detail a bit or better. Yeah. Whereas like Red Dead did like the grand scope. Yeah. See, when did the Xbox 360 come out? 2007. I'm having a look. Yeah. Um. But you know what I mean, though. Like, yeah. w- it wouldn't it be better if we had new games, <laughs> new games, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Rather than load of two thousand five, November twenty second, two thousand five. I feel like we need to start. Um, I just think original titles need to be a, more of a thing now because it, it like a lot a lot of companies now. It's like oh, it's the new Black Ops. It's the new the new Halo. The new Halo. It's the it's. No one plays. It's whatever it is. Yeah. Like next. Gears of War Seven, I think. Yeah. Whatever one is coming out. But then, like once in a while, a game like The Last of Us comes out. But then mm. now there's gonna be a Last of Us Two. Yeah. And it's like let's keep that going and stuff. It's just. Mm. So since Jaws Two. <laughs> it's the idea of the sequel, isn't it? Yeah. Because the sequel. We can keep. We can keep making money off yeah. that same franchise. We can yeah. keep making money off that same title. Yeah. But games that come out like Spider Man, for example, mm. PS4, like, it's not an original character, it's not an original concept, but that game was incredibly refreshing in the fact that it hadn't been, that story hadn't been done before. Mm. You know, it was nice to have a story that wasn't involved in the movies, it wasn't in the comics until it came out. So, the thing that annoys me partially about, <clears throat> um, the Call of Duties and stuff now. Mm. Like, doesn't like they've taken away story and like campaigns and stuff. Yeah. Because that's yeah. The, one of the first things I played of Call of Duty was bl- the Black Ops campaign. Mm. I didn't play it that much before that. The first black, the first um, Call of Duty campaign I, I, I pr- played was Modern Warfare. I probably made played Modern Warfare too, but I didn't like play it. Play it. Mm. I played through the Black Ops. Um, yeah, yeah. One campaign completely. Mm. Well, I I can understand that. Because it's taken away a, a part that sort of started it. Mm. I'm also like a, a quite story based person anyway. Mm. I'm not. You like the Assassin's Creeds and stuff, do you? Yeah. Right. Which are good games, but equally. It's another concept that could be like changed, which is why Watch Dogs um, 2, well, no, I'm not going to say. Watch Dogs 1 was like they had the idea, but they didn't like fully realize it. Watch Dogs 2 was like a refreshing version of it because mm. it's like it was similar to Assassin's Creed but not completely yeah like there were new concepts 
um you couldn't do everything just with parkour you had to do like things with your equipment and things and it was yeah. just new concepts the hacking systems were good yeah good good <laughs> yeah but like if you remaster a game fine nine times out of ten i'll probably play it crash bandicoot spyro as examples but i think what what's the other one they're thinking about doing there's another oh they also did uh ratchet and clank that was another re- was that a reboot or a it was remaster? a reboot Okay. They did it off the film because they made the film and they made and a they new made game, game for the film. Yeah. So that was kind of that's kind it's of like a, a re- bit different. It's like a re- yeah, it's a reset. It's a reboot though, but mm. it's, it's the same thing of rebooting a franchise, yeah. bringing out another one of that title. Yeah. Because they're doing the uh, original Crash Nitro Kart as well, aren't they? Yeah. Original content's just becoming less and less. Yeah. Which is a shame because it just means that people aren't going to be able to have the opportunity to pitch an idea. Because yeah. They're always going to go with the. Uh, franchise or brand that's already successful which every is, time. Which is funny because um, <clears throat> obviously we have an original series idea mm. but when we talked to a professional in the industry about pitching the idea he mm. said to talk about it in terms of things that already exist Yeah, to get it into the idea of the people's heads which yeah. is fun- funny to me because it's like even though we have an original idea still put it into terms of something that already exists so that the um, people realising it has an example they can, they can understand like, it better yeah, they, yeah. by saying that already and uh, already exists mm. which is it makes sense but it's just funny to me that that's how you should pitch an idea that's yeah. how, how a professional within the industry tells us to pitch an idea yeah hmm Put it in terms of something that already exists. Yeah. But with your... With your idea there as well. Yeah. With... Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what annoys me as well. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Is there anything else? Anything else you want to talk about? The last thing, as always on our show, recommendations. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, this is something that you can go first on because I haven't thought about it. <laughs> um, I haven't read any, read anything this week. Oh, I also wanted to mention. Um, I mentioned that just because I think it's really cool. Mm. Uh, the Critical Role Kickstarter campaign. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what it's currently on. Uh, if you've heard of Critical Role before, then it. Um, or you haven't heard of Critical Role before, even it's a D and D live stream, uh, it's run by famous voice actors. Um, it's very popular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> especially by their um... their Kickstarter. Basically, they have created a Kickstarter campaign to now create an animated series from that um, live stream, mm. and they're currently sitting at uh, their their original goal was seven uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Which is about uh, five hundred thousand. They um, they hit a million in, in an hour yep. <laughs> of posting the Kickstarter, and now five <coughs> days into the campaign, they are at six million six hundred ninety nine thousand. Jesus. Million dollars, yeah. Okay. Which is five million four hundred and seventy something pounds. Yep. Million pounds. Yep. Which is crazy. Yeah, I just thought that was, it's, it's a cool thing yeah. <laughs> that's going on right now, and I just wanted to mention it. Philip DeFranco even mentioned it, like he got a shout on there, so they were on the news for it. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's like a Kickstarter record. Yeah. Speaking of Kickstarters, Adrenaline has its own Kickstarter, which is standing at a are massive... Are we a Kickstarter or are we a go- It's a... It's a GoFundMe, isn't it? GoFundMe, yeah. Yeah. Which is standing at a massive zero pounds at the moment. <laughs> um, but the link will be in the description of the YouTube video and wherever you're listening to this um, podcast. But yeah. Uh, we have a Kickstarter, uh, a GoFundMe. If you want to, if you want to pitch in a couple of pounds, then that will be brilliant. But no recommendations. Um, <clears throat> I've recently, very very recently, finished uh, Afterlife on Netflix. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> when did you finish that, then, Charlie? <laughs> right, right before we started this podcast. Uh, <laughs> I watched um, it all yesterday. Very entertaining show. Uh, Ricky Gervais had a lot of controversy. Controversy, controversy, and controversy, uh, controversy around it, like with its advertising, because of one of the jokes it had in it. But it was like it was very moving. It wasn't like as advertised. It was more of a drama than a comedy. Mm. But it was still like 
It was very, it was very entertaining. A few uh, teary eye moments. Yeah, there was, but there? also very funny, and I thought that was quite entertaining. It's a, um, it's a good, it's a good show. You should definitely watch it. It different to what we usually watch. I would say mm. it's not something that. If it was a comedy, then yeah, sure, we'd watch it hands down. But because neither of us would have watched it if it didn't have Ricky Gervais in it. Mm. But equally, it was a a very moving, um, and just nice bit of work, I would say. Um, my recommendation. What? Oh dear, I have not. I have. I mean, I've been. I've, I've been watching a lot of. Or listening to a lot of ear biscuits, at the, like recently. Sorry, you will be. Carry on. Um. So yeah, I'm going to recommend ear biscuits. It's another podcast. that's good mythical. <laughs> Can. Yeah. Did I did I recommend them last week? I cannot remember. I think we talked about them. We week. talked about them, but today I'll recommend them. Um. Yeah, the Good Mythical Morning podcast. Uh, ear biscuits go in. Uh, listen to them they do some quite nice topics and so they they've started well we kind of took one of their ideas by recommending stuff um but they recommend stuff at the end of their podcast they're quite similar to us as well uh, about what they talk about and um yeah go listen to ear biscuits it's very entertaining i would say if you've got um if you're doing work, if you're at work or something, and you've got a spare moment, just pop one of their podcasts on and away you go. You're pretty pretty set then. I've done a lot of washing up to their podcasts. <laughs> I, I do a lot of, um, <clears throat> even when I'm walking between somewhere. Yeah. Um, or I'm cooking my dinner or something, I mm. listen to them quite often. Yeah. But yeah, that's my recommendation. Okay, cool. So, um, thank you very much for listening to us ramble on about topics that probably don't matter. But uh yeah. Yeah, good good goodbye I guess. Yeah, tune in next week to hear